everybody, Wade McNutt here, PianoMeditation.com. Song today is Lion and the Lamb. Oh, I just love it. God is a lion, the lion of Judah. He's roaring with power, fighting our battles. And uh, God, we just call you into this lesson today. We pray for the student wherever they are in the world. And uh, we recognize that you are the lion, you are the lamb. And every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb. Such a beautiful image. All right, guys. Um, let's start off with uh, learning the chords. Now, uh, I'm going to go off of the cheat sheets like I always do. So if you uh, need those, go to the description below and you can click on a link. It says email. Sign up for my email list. We'll send you the cheat sheets really quickly. Um, and also in the description as well, you can... Uh, copy and paste some music and you have to put it in your word processor and format it to make it look nice but you can do that as well so the chords we're going to use starting with b b as in booger i mean boy b as in don't pick your boogers so let's start with this b d sharp f sharp don't eat your boogers either and then in the left hand b and f sharp i mean you can eat your boogers if you want to Okay, enough about boogers. Stop it. Now, you want to get all these chords down um, and be able to move in between them uh, to be able to play this song. So do that. Next chord will be an E. That's not an E. C sharp minor. C sharp, E, G sharp. Play C sharp and G sharp in the bass. Remember, pause if you need to as we go along because I'm going to go through these. Pause and work them out. And we have an E, E, G sharp, B, and E's in the bass. It's an inversion of E chord. Here's the normal one. We just move this note, boop, to the bottom, bam, inversion. Beautiful, get that down. Make sure when you're playing too, you have this nice curve on your hands. I'm just doing this so you can see. We also have an F sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, F sharps in the bass. Beautiful. You're all beautiful. Did I do G sharp minor yet? Probably did. No, I didn't. I don't know if I did or not, but I'm going to do it. G sharp, B, D sharp. No, I don't think I've done this. Another inversion. G sharps in the bass. And a lot of times on these bass notes, too, if you're spread out like this, you can uh, play. Whatever the note here is in the middle, the fifth is what we call it. So you might see me doing that every once in a while. Don't worry about that if you don't want to. All right, get those chords down, and then we'll be able to start playing through the verse. I'll go back and show you the intro uh, here in just a little bit. So let's get started. Starting with the verse, B chord. He's coming on the clouds. Now, with a song like this, it's not really a piano song, but if you're trying to just lead worship piano alone, then you might want to go some kind of, some, to give you a little feel, maybe pump the left hand like that. And He's coming on the clouds, king and kingdoms, right on will, we'll switch to C sharp minor, will bow down to E, play E again, C, uh, G sharp minor, Every chain will break his broken hearts. Now to our F sharp, declare his praise on E. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Okay, so let's play through that verse in time. That'll be your goal is to uh, do that in time. At the very end, I'll sing through the whole thing so you can practice with me as well. Also know that the, uh, the vocals are actually an octave above where I'm singing. He's coming on the clouds. Yeah, I'm just singing lower so I don't blow your ears out on this lesson. Okay, two, ready, verse. He's coming on the clouds. King and kingdoms will bow down. One more E, G sharp minor. Every chain will break. Broken hearts declare his praise. 
Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Chorus! All right, so we start with a B here in the chorus. And uh, on the recording, they'll just hold these out through the first chorus. So uh, maybe it's a good idea for you to do that too. You can do your own arrangement, okay? You don't have to stick to what the recording does. So we'll hold out a B. Our God is a lion, the lion of Judah. So make sure we're changing at the right spots. Lion to the F sharp, lion of, and then Jew. We, we change right after we said that. The lion of Judah. He's roaring with power, fighting our battles, right? Make sure to be looking at the screen uh, above the words so you know what chords I'm changing to, the F sharp, then to the E. And every knee will bow, F sharp, before, bow before him. Next part, B. Our God is a lamb. The lamb that was slain, the sins of the world, his blood breaks the chains, every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb, and every knee will bow before him. Cool. Got those changes down? If you don't know the chords, if you're having to think about the changes, you're never going to do it. Okay. Learn the chords, and then, bam, you can flow through this with me. I'm looking at the screen. Okay, we'll sing, we'll t sing all of that at the end together. Okay, now's a good time to, since we know all of our chords, let's uh, learn that intro lick. Now, the guitars are doing this, uh, so if you have guitar players, you don't probably want to play this. But if you're by yourself, uh, this would be cool to do, so you can go... I'll show you how that works. So you're going, we're going to keep this pinky. This one plays every time. So it's one, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one. Up here to E, then back down. And then I'm going to land like that on G sharp, B, and F sharp. So it's. Here it is in time. One, one, two. Okay, I'll show you the bass here in a second. Just trying to get your right hand down. Let's do that one more time. One, one, two. Okay, now bass wise, we can do these B's. On the recording, it changes to this C sharp uh, minor, the C sharp in the bass at a weird spot. Um, so you can do it that way if you want to. Here's the count of it. Um, you can do that way, or you can do it a simpler way that I'll show you, which is uh, so here's the hard way. Da -na -na. So it's right after you go. It's when that changes to the C sharp. Um, and then you got to real quickly jump to the E then. Down to the E's. Four, one, two. So here's what that looks like in time. There's one last part to that. Let me show you the easier way if that's like blowing your mind. You could also go. And right with this note. Okay, so you either change after it or right with it. If you're with the band, you're trying to play it exactly like the recording, then you'll want to change after. Um, if you're by yourself, then it really doesn't matter. Or your band can decide to do it the easier way. Whatever. Okay, so now when we get down to the E, you're going to do something, or you're going to do this. Not something, you're going to do this. All right, 
So here it is. You getting that? Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I know it's a little weird. I'll do it slowly one more time. Two, ready, and... Woo! Okay, here's the whole intro together. One, two, intro, hard way. Now, if that's too much for you, just play a B chord and an E chord. Maybe that's stretching you too much. Play two B chords, two E chords, and you can go into the verse first. All right, so we got an intro uh, that we can play. Got to work that out. It might take time, might take a week, might take a month. That's okay. Work it out. And the more you learn how to do this, the quicker that you'll get. All right, verse two. Now, right before verse two, you have that intro thing again. Verse two. Open up the gates before the king of kings. The God who comes to save is here. To set the captives free Who can stop the Lord Almighty Chorus Let's look at the bridge real fast And then I'll play through the whole song together Now that you're getting the chords down uh, You should be able to do this On the bridge We'll just do uh, what we call diamonds hold, Just hold out the chords And then we'll build on the second part of the bridge So first part, got our C sharp minor who can stop the Lord? Okay. B slash D sharp. Anything after the slash is only talking to our bass player right here. So we'll play B, D sharp here. So be beginning of the bridge. One, two. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? To an E. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? C sharp minor. Who can stop the Lord Almighty to E? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Second part of the bridge, where we start building here. So I might be going boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, like this. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord? Stop the Lord Almighty. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Now, it does a little vamp thing here. Two B chords, but you're doing that. That last part of the uh, intro lick. that last uh, chorus. Okay, I hope I've pieced it enough together for you. We'll try to make it through this whole thing together. All right. From the top, play and sing it. Your goal is to get to where you can play and sing this with me. So learn your chords. All right, here we go. From the top. Oh, and on the recording, there's a arpeggiator thing that's going on for a B major seven chord and an E, and so we're skipping over that. But if you have that in your band or whatever, good for you. All right, starting with the intro that we can play. 
One, two, ready, and. declare his praise who can stop the Lord Almighty hold out our God is a lion the lion of Judah he's roaring with power fighting our battles and every knee will bow before him our God is a lamb the lamb that was slain with the sins of the world his blood breaks the chains and every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb and every knee will bow before him. intro Verse 2, open up the gates, make way before the King of Kings. Put that in there if you want to. God who comes to save is here to set the captives free. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Our God is alive. C sharp minor, B slash D sharp, E. It's a great place to loop. Keep playing that over and over again if you want to pray, do something like that. Into the bridge. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? 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 Let's build. And who can stop the Lord Almighty? And who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord? can stop the Lord Almighty. Lick. Our God is a lion, the lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. And every knee will bow for him. Our God is a lamb. sins of the world his blood breaks the chains and every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb and every knee will bow before him outro we'll just do the that lick again I know, a lot of cool stuff in that song. A lot of stuff to work out. Again, if it takes a little bit to learn, don't worry. It takes time. It takes time to build those chops. All right? 
and you can do it because I see it over and over and over again. And I love it. All right, guys. Now, this song uh, may be a little too high, so you might want to, you know, take the same techniques I used, play it in a, a lower key if you need to. Um, it's probably a good female singing key, but for the guys, uh, especially on the chorus, this note up here, that's pretty high. So if you were able to move it down to G, had uh, your different charts, you can um, use natural numbers to learn how to transpose. <clears throat> Talk about those with the cheat sheets. But uh, listen how much better the key of G is. Oh God is a lion, the lion of Judah. Right? So you want to think about uh, the church, what people are going to be most comfortable seeing. And that differs from... Uh, what a trained vocalist can do, you know, just the normal church people may not be able to do that, so you should think about them a little bit. <laughs> God bless y'all. Hope you had a great lesson, piano meditation. Uh, connect with me, join the email list, like the Facebook page, all that fun stuff. Hope you have a great week. God bless you. Bye-bye!